the Aztec Indians of present-day Mexico engaged in wide-scale human sacrifice, and after the fall of their empire, the Spanish feared a bloody rebellion. A local man, Bishop Zumarraga, appealed to Our Lady to intervene, and as the story goes, if he were to receive roses native to his homeland of Castile, Spain, his prayer would be answered. Now, according to the Catholic faith, Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared to St. Juan Diego in 1531. Near a former site of human sacrifice, dawn broke and Diego heard a feminine voice tenderly call to him. When he saw her, she identified herself and imparted instructions to him to request a church be built on that very hill. She told him to pick the Castilian roses that had spontaneously appeared beside him and deliver them to the bishop. Diego obeyed, and as he opened his tilma to present the roses, a miraculous image of Our Lady appeared on the surface of the cloth. The bishop built the church, and over the next decade, nine million natives were believed to have been converted and baptized into Catholicism. Just one of the things about this is that each of these stars around, because the actual image has tons of them, this one has eight, and there are eight images of the Virgin in this church. And each of these has eight petals on them, which is also a number that shows up in, the, in that image. Um, there's some symbolism involving that. You see these eight leafed flowers that are all over, of which I think there are eight. The Indians had no written language and instead communicated in images. When Our Lady appeared as a pictograph, they believed it to be divine communication. Our Lady was adorned in colors that represented Aztec royalty with a sash or cingulum denoting perfect chastity and pregnancy, signifying that she was the virgin mother of the one true God. So in this image, we see all of the heavens. We have the sun, the moon, and the stars here, as well as the angels. You have an angel on the bottom holding up the moon. Mary's above that. On her mantle are the stars, and she's in front of the sun. Now, the sun god was very important to the Aztecs, and so Mary being in front of that indicates a superiority to that faith tradition. In contemporary culture, Our Lady of Guadalupe is an icon for the pro-life movement as her pregnant image portrays the value of life in the womb.